guys, what is going on Tim this year? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make better YouTube banners. I've done how to make better uh, logos and now I'm going to show you guys how to make better YouTube banners. Just a few different techniques that will make your banners just pop, stand out and just blend and just look a lot nicer. Because some people um, don't actually do these tips I'll be showing you guys and they they can make the balance look a lot better so it's worth doing this guys so yeah if you enjoyed the video smash that like button can we break 250 likes on this video that would be amazing subscribe if you are new and also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next and yeah let's get straight into it okay guys so we are here in photoshop so what you want to do is go over to file and you want to open up a youtube banner template so i've just got my own banner template right here so yeah um, so the first we're just going to be making a YouTube banner I'm just going to show you different things along the way that um, will just make your banners look better and things that will just help you um, that you guys might not do so I always like to have a GFX pack so if you don't have a GFX pack it's worth getting one my 27k GFX pack is really good and basically it's just a lot easier to get things and um, it reduces time spent on like YouTube banners, it's just really easier <clears throat> and less stressful like when you want to find an image because they've got loads of stocks and overlays and things you really will want to use when you're making a YouTube banner. So we're just going to do the background first and some people like to, well it depends what type of YouTube banner you're doing, I'm just going to do like a simple clean styled um, one. Um, but some people like to overcomplicate this style so I'll just show you guys what I do so to fill the background in I'm just going to use black and alt backspace maybe a little bit darker and I'm going to add some colour to this so in fact no I'm going to add some stocks first and I'll show you guys how to blend them together really nicely so I'm just going to go to overlays and I think I'll choose this one right here, just drag it in and then press ctrl T, hold shift and we'll just drag it, keep that proportion and then I'm just going to bring down the opacity a little bit, about 25% and we're just going to layer up a few stocks, so maybe use this one Well, this will just give it like a little shiny blend effect and we're gonna just scroll down and I think yeah we'll use color dodge and it basically brightens up and darkens certain parts of the image and that really does blend it very nicely uh, the next one I think I'll go with this right here and we'll set this to color dodge as well just make it bigger holding shift and alt maybe make it a bit smaller change that to color dodge and then press ctrl j to duplicate it um, just to enhance that a bit more um, the next thing we're going to do is go to stocks and scroll down and I'm going to use this one right here anything with like a black background and then some sort of um, other color it's always best to put it on lighter and screen or color dodge because it just removes that black background for you and the color that I'm going to use for this I might choose blue and then I'm just going to bring it below everything else like so and then if you go to the eraser tool keep the flow quite low like 30% and then just rub away certain areas like so and now I'm going to group all that and that's just a cool abstract background and now I'm going to add a new layer go to black and then round the outside you just want to make that a bit darker then bring down the opacity a bit then add a new layer and go to white and we're going to add some spots of light so just in certain places and change that to overlay now add a new layer and then choose whatever colour you want to use so I'm going to go with something like that and I'm just going to drag at the bottom and change that to like colour dodge or something and then bring down the opacity and what also looks really good 
In fact, before we do anything else, this is a really like major thing you need to do when making YouTube banners or any other sort of design. You want to add some colour corrections, so if you don't have this, go to Window, Adjustments and then just drag it over. Or you can go down to the bottom and click and use these. Um, so the first thing, go to brightness and contrast, bring the brightness down and the contrast up. Um, and then colour curves, just make a small change like this. What this is doing is just enhancing everything, um, just a little bit, like, you don't want to like, do it loads, because it'll just look, it'll just look really bad, so you want to just do little adjustments. Just to change it a little bit and then you want to go to color balance and whatever color you're using you want to move it towards that sort of color so mine's blue something like that and then if you group all that together you can see it blends it very nicely and not not many people um, well people who like I follow on Twitter and send me stuff they don't really do this this um, technique, this, these colour curves, it's pretty vital if you want to make really nice YouTube banners. So I'm just going to add a spot of light at the top, like I usually do. And now I'm going to show you just a cool effect, which I've just recently learned that I really do like. So if you get a shape, so I'm just going to use uh, the square, if I hold shift and drag you make a, a square, then rasterize it hold control and go to select to modify contract and then 10 will probably be okay and press backspace to delete it um, and then once you've done that you want to go to filter um, distort wave and then bring the wave length down a little bit to about that and you get that effect and it looks okay but if you press control F again you get even more of a wave and the more you do it the more of a wave it goes and it enhances it a lot more so I'm just gonna put bring this into the um, banner and below the color curves color corrections and then you want to change that to overlay and as you can see it just gives the background some cool effects to just like fill in some gaps and it just looks really nice and you can do that with any shapes like circles, um, uh, triangles and stuff like that. <clears throat> so yeah, it's looking really nice. Um, it's all blended together nicely because of the colour curves and the shadows and the highlights and the stocks are all nicely blended together. <clears throat> so the next thing that I really like to do um, is to add like, um, like a a board around the outside, just a really thin border and then if you just like rub away the sides and then press ctrl J and bring it to the top and do the exact same and then group them two together and bring them below the colour curves and yeah, it just makes everything in the middle stand out a lot more because you've got this board around the outside and it looks really cool. Now we're going to add some text just in the middle. And this is a, just a clean gaming banner, so um, let me just put your name. So you want some sort of bold font. You could have add like a brush font because it is like an abstract gaming style. Um, so it would look quite nice. So I'm just going to use just a bold font. Um, maybe choose that's a bold. I'm just going to bring the space into zero. And this is probably the best lay styles that you can do. So if you go to gradient and overlay, bring up the opacity to about. 40%, add an inner glow, change that to overlay, and a drop shadow, bring the distance down the spread and the size up, then bring down the opacity quite a bit, 
and I don't think that's actually in the middle. Okay, so yeah, um, I think we're just gonna add a few more effects just to finish it off. That's what I like to do once I've like pretty much finished it. I like to add some effects to finish it off. So. Um, whatever color you're using what I like to do is over the top of the text just to finish it off maybe add a color over there and one over there and then change it to color dodge and then just bring down the opacity and it just blends the text in a bit uh, I like to add another one in each corner so maybe one over there one over there change that to color dodge as well and bring down the opacity and then add another layer go to white and add just some spots of white and change that to overlay and then finally just a few more color corrections which we did before so brightness and contrast bring the brightness down contrast up um, color curves make a little s shape exposure bring that up offset up a bit and gamma correction up and then color balance choose a color that you're using so blue for me and yeah that is it actually no one more thing shadows around the outside one more time and one more spot of white at the top And yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Just some tips on how to make a really clean YouTube gaming banner. Um, it's a really nice style. If you guys want this template, let's break 250 likes and I'll put it in the description for you guys. Um, yeah, subscribe if you are new. Let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. And I hope you're all having a sick day today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.